Hello my brother and sister, very very welcome in the first presentation of factors and multiples. You might have heard these words factors and multiples before uh, from, from your friend or from your brother, either brother or sister or your mom or dad or from your teacher somewhere you might have heard but what exactly they are today we are going to discuss and before learning factors and multiples uh, you should have good concept of tables you know tables from 2 to 12 at least from 2 to 12 if you know the tables from 2 to 20 that's awesome that's very good but this is you know at least you should know the tables from 2 to 12 like if I'm gonna ask you what is 2 times 8 then you should give the answer quickly what is it's 16 right if I'm gonna ask you what is 12 times 4 so you should give quickly answer that's 48 if I'm gonna ask what is 7 times 8 then you need to tell me 42 like this you know you should know the tables from 2 to 12 if you haven't learned then please first learn this table from 2 to 12 at least 12 but I will suggest you go to till 20 that's really awesome your calculation will be super fast all right so I hope you're good already in this all stuff so let's talk today about the factors what is factors when I can say a number is a factor of some another number okay suppose I have a number uh, let's say I have number 6 okay so what is other numbers what are other numbers that is exactly going to divide this 6 without any remainder if I'm gonna divide this 6 by 1 what I will get I'll get 6 but there will be no remainder remainder will be how much 0 similarly if I'm gonna divide this 6 by 2 I'll get the remainder how much remainder will be 0 and my quotient will be 3 right so because 2 times 3 is 6 similarly if you divide 6 by 3 how much you'll get 2 remainder will be again what 0 if I'm gonna divide this 6 by 4 no I can't divide this 6 by 4 similarly if I'm gonna divide 6 by 5 I can't divide it if I'm gonna divide 6 by 6 I'm gonna get 1 and remainder will be again 0 so here factors means those numbers those numbers by which exactly you can divide the number all right like the number is 6 and those number which exactly divides the 6 are the factors of 6 like here 1 is exactly dividing 6 on 6 time similarly 2 is exactly dividing the 6 on 3 time similarly 3 is exactly dividing the 6 in 2 time 4 and 5 not and 6 is also dividing the 6 in 1 time so here those all circles marked uh, numbers by this pink color whatever I have marked 1 2 3 and 6 so here here factors of 6 are 1 2 3 and 6 because this set of number 1 2 3 and 6 these numbers this 1 2 3 and 6 exactly divide the number 6 okay exactly divides the number 6 so that is why these are called factors of 6 okay similarly like if you if you take another example something like 8 okay so what are the factors of 8 what are the factors what are the factors of 8 now question is asking you so let's see here 8 if you divide this 8 by 1 you'll get 8 remainder will be how much 0 okay and now here if you divide 8 by 2 how much you'll get yes 4 and what's your remainder that's 0 similarly if you divide 8 by 3 you can't divide okay similarly 8 divided by 4 yes you'll get 2 again remainder is how much 0 right uh, we can't divide this you know so remainder will come so we don't talk about those things similarly here 8 divided by 5 you can't divide it 8 divided by 6 you can't divide it again right similarly 8 divided by 7 you can't divide it you can divide it but you know remainder will come so we don't need any remainder we don't want remainder okay so those numbers we need uh, which are remainder uh, you know there, there should not be any remainder remainder less so 8 divided by 8 yes you can easily divide and one time so in all these cases see here in the case of this 1 2 4 and 8 they are exactly dividing you know without any uh, no this one not not this one this one so here what are the factors of 8 so factors of 8 are 1 2 
4 and 8. So these set of the number, this group of numbers exactly divide the 8 without any remainder. That time remainder is 0. So that is why 1, 2, 4 and 8 are called factors of 8. I hope you understand. Similarly, uh, I'm giving you one more. Suppose I have 15. Okay. So what are the factors of 15? So if you see 15, you know, if you have the good concept of table, now you might have got, you know, 15 times 15 divided by 1, that's 15. Similarly, 15 is divisible by 3. You might be knowing the table of 3 and 5 times. Similarly, 15 is divisible. Now by 3, it is divisible. It is means here like I'll tell you the I'll tell you that later. Wait. Similarly, 15 divided by 5, that is 3. Similarly, 15 divided by 15 equals to 1. So here, what are my factors? Yes, my factors are 1, 3, 5, and 15. Because these numbers, you know, 1, 3, 5, and 15. These, these four numbers exactly divide the 15 without any remainder. That time, remainder is 0. So now, how to find out quickly, you know, uh, the remainders. If you go on writing, you can easily find out now predict further. How to predict the uh, uh, factors. Now see here, in the first example, like when I divide 8 by 1, I got 1 and I got 8, right? So these both are factors. When I divide 8 by 2, I got the remain, uh, I got the uh, quotient how much? 4. So quotient is also and the divisor. Both are my factors, 2 and 4. If you see here, like 1 came here and 8 came also here. Similarly, by 2 first, I, I divided by the 2 and I got the 4, right? So similarly, next time, I'm, it's repeating, you know, like in increasing order here is, and it is in like, uh, you know, it's increasing order here, and if you see here, you know, it's like from down, if you go, it will be increasing order. So once you write 2, 3, you can now predict, like when you started dividing 15 by 1, you got uh, you got 15. So now you need to, you need to think that 1 as well as 15, both are the multiples of 15. Similarly, here you have 15, you divide by the 3 and you got the uh, quotient 5. So 3 as well as 5, both are the factors of 15. Okay, both are the factors of 15. Now there is no need to write this because 1 also came here, 15 also came here. See here, 1 also came here, 15 also came here. 3 came already, so let's mark 3 also. And 5 already came here, 5. Alright, so it is what I mean to say. Now similarly, I'm going to do a little bit bigger number, something like 24. Okay, so now see, 24 divided by 1, how much I'll get? 24. So, here I'm going to write what are the what are exactly the divisors, okay? So, 1, so first one is 1, because 1 is exactly dividing this 24 and 24 times. So, this 24 as well as this 1, both are my factors, okay? But I'll write from back, 24. Similarly, if you see, uh, 24 is exactly divisible by 2, so how much time? Yes, 12. So, uh, 2 times 12 is 24, so now I can say that my 2 as well as 24 are the factors of 24. So, 2 and here 12, okay. So, we got 2 more. Similarly, 24 you have, you can easily divide this by 3 in exact way, right. So, 3 times 8 is 24, so I got one more, My uh, I got 2 more factors, 3 and 8. So, 3 is also dividing this and 8 is also dividing. Again. 24 is again divisible by 4. So 12 times 4, that is 6. Alright? So, so 12, uh, tw 24 divided by 4 is actually 6, you know? So, now my 4 as well as 6, both are my, yes, both are my here, 4 and 6, both are my factors. So, the factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 12, and 24. So, these all are the factors of 24. I hope you understand it. Alright? So, you don't have to write more and more like 24 divided by 8. That will be actually repeated. Like if you do 24 divided by 6, if you do here, again you'll get here 4. So, 6 is already here. So, all the factors are go down, okay, and then combine these all. So, these all are your factors every time, you know, in this way, like this, always you'll get. So, that is your factors. Now, here I want to stress in one thing like any number you give like 234 so every time two factors are confirmed that is one and the number itself okay because one time the number is itself that number so 
every number every number whatever the number you have that has at least two factors at least you know every number have at least two factors at least two factors two factors every number have any type of number it is we don't care that's natural number whole number prime or any composite number any number it is at least it has two factors that is first one and the number itself okay so keep these things in mind and if something more will come then I will definitely tell you and in exercise one will be doing exercise you'll clear your more doubt okay now let's talk about what is multiples multiples is really easy like if I'm telling what is the multiple of 2 then you just have to write the table of 2 means uh, what are the numbers that 2 can divide you know what are the numbers that 2 can divide 2 can divide 4 6 8 10 12 uh, 14 you know 16 it's looking like 24 18 and so many so many numbers similarly what are the multiples of 3 if you see the multiples of 3 means what are those number that 3 can divide yes 3 can divide 6 and 3 can divide itself uh, 3 also similarly here 2 can also divide this 2 itself so 2 is also the multiples of 2 alright similarly 3 can divide uh, 9 it can divide 12 it can divide 15 it can divide 18 and so on okay similarly if I'm, if someone is asking similarly if someone is asking what is the multiple of 6 then first the number itself that is 6 and then write the table of 6 6 can divide actually 12 it can divide 18 it can divide 24 it can divide 30 36 and so on so these all numbers are called actually multiples of respective these two, like respective of two, three, and six. So, you know, any numbers, like if they are saying what is the multiples of any numbers x, means those numbers to which it can divide, right? X can divide to which? Suppose y, okay? Like, 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 like it is three and it is nine, okay? Here, nine and three. So three can divide nine. I'm going to say. 9 is divisible by 3 in 3 times right and that time 3 will be called factor of 9 that time it will call uh, factor of 9 because 3 can divide exactly on 3 times this 9 right and now 9 now see here this 9 is the number you know whose factor is 3 but multiple of 3 is 9 actually you know so multiple of 3 is 9 and 3 is the factor of uh, factor of 9 something like this like you have uh, something like uh, you can take 10 suppose 10 okay so 10 is divisible by 2 in 5 times all right and if you multiply this 2 5 times you will get 10 so from here what I can say that this 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 10 you know like 10 is the multiple of 2 but 2 is the factor of 10 right 10 is the multiple is the multiple of 2 but 2 is the factor of 10 did you get it what I mean to say I mean to say you know uh, something like if you have 15 okay if you have 15 so 15 is divisible by 3 in 5 times 3 and 15 now see here 3 actually can divide 15 so I can say that 15 is the multiple is the multiple of 3 but you know one thing that 15 get divided by 3 or you can say 3 can divide exactly you know exactly 15 on 5 times so since 15 can be divided by 3 and exactly 5 times exactly on 5 times exactly on 5 times so I can say that 3 is again the factor is the factor of 15 all right so one more thing I want to tell you here again like multiples if someone is saying you know like multiples of any number X is at least at least one which is the number itself number itself if I'm I don't know any number like two three four six right you know so every number you know every number any number so it has at least one 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 multiple which is what one itself one the number itself one at least it has one one multiple which is the number itself two three four six and here I want I want to tell you like 
there are a lot of multiples if you see any any number you take any number you know multiples of any number I want to say multiples of any number is unlimited unlimited you know you cannot count it a lot we have in infinite you can say infinite all right infinite numbers of a huge numbers of multiples we have but factors are limited always factors are limited uh, let me clear you down what does it mean actually let me illustrate you here suppose I'm talking about the number 6 okay so what are the multiples of 6 all right I'm talking about multiples so multiples of 6 are 6 itself you know the number itself number itself and it is 12 and 18 and 24 and 36 and so on unlimited you cannot count infinite number a huge number you can go on writing go on writing till it will be one year or your whole year will finish but the the number of uh, like uh, the number of multiples of six you cannot count all you know a huge number we have you know infinite numbers though you will be old but you will not finish writing all the multiples of six you can go on writing means a huge number of multiples we do have but if you talk about uh, the factors factors of six if you talk about the factors those are always limited means few numbers can only divide this six in exact way like 6 can be exactly divided by 1 on 6 times. Similarly, 6 can be exactly divided by 2 in 3 times. Alright, and that's it. We don't have any more factors than that. Like 1, 6, 2, and 3 can be divided by, uh, can be divided in this 6 in exact way. Like uh, only this 1, 2, 3, and 6. This only 4 number can divide this 6 in exact way. There should not be any remainder that time you know remainder will be zero so so only four factors we do have but if you talk about the mul uh, multiples we have infinite number of multiples we have a huge number of multiples i think the class this lesson is getting uh, lengthy all right we'll be talking more on the next and we'll be doing some more examples there that will definitely give you more ideas okay goodbye